Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe before you go! Thank you! Today, let's get to know Ho Ming Dao also known as Neo Huo, is a Chinese actor, singer and model. He was born on 3rd of August 1997 in Beijing, China. His height is 179 cm and currently signed under BG Talent. He was a former SM trainee in 2012, but left the company after a year to pursue his career in his hometown. He attended Beijing Contemporary Music Academy. In 2014, he debuted as a member of the Chinese boy band, Fresh Teenager Geek, then left the group in 2016 to develop his solo career. He is best known for his roles in the film The Devotion of Suspect X, and in the drama's Cambrian Period, 2017, When We Were Young, 2018, and The Lost Tomb 2, Explore with the Note, 2019. He continuously participated in reality shows, filmed web dramas, and is gradually recognized as one of the potential rookies of the Chinese film industry. In December 17, 2019, he won the Fashion Icon Prize at the Yifeng Fashion Selection Awards Ceremony. Let's hear about Neo's fun facts. He plays the guitar and accordion. He showed interest in accordion at 4 years old and he started learning how to play it for 8 years. He loves dogs and has a pet named Monkey. He took vocal lessons when he was young that includes bel canto singing and tenor. While being in primary school he wanted to join a singing competition but his parents didn't support this idea, so his singing coach paid his registration fee. In the end, he won a second place. He lived with his grandparents growing up, and gets emotional when talking about them in interviews, especially since his grandma has Alzheimer's. <laughs> He shows optimism even when his future is not clear. His undying love for his family, especially his grandmother, warms my heart, and his undying loyalty to his friends makes me value my friends even more. Honestly, when I first started watching, when we were young, I didn't think it would be so good. I like every character in this series, there are no villains, just relatable obstacles in our daily life. We can learn so much in the story personally I love each episode which is filled with meaning. If you didn't watch it then you are missing something really good story, I can even relate to some of the scenes. Neo Huo acted as the Uobiu, the male lead in the drama. When you watch the drama, you will definitely fall in love with him as his character grows on you. Everyone need a person like him in their life and Neo's acting is spot on. You can definitely feel a character development in everyone, each person learns something from someone. The friendship between our group is very precious and whenever they are together I always felt their tight bond. This story is a real gem, you must watch it or else you will definitely miss something. I watched his other known drama, The Lost Tomb 2, 2019, not because I watched the first one but because of Neo and Ching Yi. This is a perfect action supernatural drama. It's entertaining and kept me wanting for more. Though I'm not familiar with the franchise but I can say this is thrilling and climatic. It's full of action and felt like you are also in the same universe. Neo really did well in the series but it fell really hard with Ling Doppelganger's story about the Republic, I think that's where Cheng Yi shined. I give shout out to the leads and productions team for keeping the momentum going. Kudos to the visuals and animations and graphics were out of this world. There are dramas where the viewers know more than the leads do about the story, but here every episode seems to be accompanying the leads. The characters having different behavior patterns that blends right in. All in all, it might have the budget or perfect acting of Tibu, but it definitely contains the next best on-screen Iron Triangle. If you are keen to adventure with amazing graphics, then this series is for you. 
Have you watched any of his other dramas? Drop down a comment and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. Thank you.